Hi, Tianzi. Hi, Martin. Good to see you again. You too. I want to ask your help in answering a few more questions for me and other developers about pub sub ordering today. Of course, I'm happy to help. Let's get on with them. So, TNC, in the last episode, you introduced ordering of PubSub messages in the ride hailing app I was building. In my original implementation, if a user requested a ride and then canceled that ride, sometimes the cancellation would arrive before the initial ride request, which confused my application. Ah, yes, I remember that. You enabled a message ordering to resolve this issue. Yeah, you showed me how to do that so that all messages for a particular writer arrive in the order they're published. In other words, the ordering key is the writer ID. Here is my code for that. And here's my PubSub subscription in the Cloud Console with the ordering box checked. Very nice. We can refer back to your code and your configuration as we answer the questions. Excellent. So the first question is from Jacob on Stack Overflow, specifically about the push subscription case. Uh, Jacob writes, does Cloud PubSub message ordering mean the subsequent message is not delivered until the previous one is acknowledged? That is correct. Uh, to use an example from the right hailing app, if the request write message by Bobcat is published before the cancel write message by Bobcat, the request write message must be acknowledged by your application before PubSub even delivers the cancel write message. Oh, so does that mean that I can create a bottleneck if my code doesn't acknowledge messages? Mm, that is likely for Bobcat, but it won't affect other writer IDs. For instance, this won't affect request and cancel write messages from Starfish. To avoid blocking subsequent messages from individual writers, your code should always acknowledge messages. If the message is badly formatted, or if your code throws an exception, catch that exception, acknowledge the message, and report the error to the operator. Don't fail to acknowledge an ordered message for an extended period of time. So the second question is from Robin Thomas in a comment for our previous video. What's the behavior when the publisher sets message ordering and publishes messages with an ordering key, and there are multiple subscribers listening to the same topic, but only one of them is interested in ordered messages? That is a great question. Mm, I think there are two parts to it. For serverless and push, it's easy. You have only one push URL per subscription. For example, in your ride hailing app, the subscriber is your service built in Cloud Run. Outside serverless, however, pull subscriptions are more common. When multiple subscribers, like multiple compute engine instances, are pulling from the same topic, messages of the same ordering key are delivered to the same subscriber. You may hear this described as the affinity guarantee of PubSub ordered delivery. OK, so what if I have multiple subscribers pulling from a subscription and only one of them is interested in ordered messages? Mm. Subscribers actually don't control what kind of messages they get, ordered or unordered. Instead, this is determined by the subscription. If the goal is to separate unordered messages from ordered messages, it's probably best to publish them to different topics. Um, in a right hailing app, it would be a good idea to publish ordered messages, like request write and cancel write messages, to a writer's topic and unordered messages, like when a user updates their password to a different topic. All right. So I think what this means to me for my ride hailing app is that one, if I use push subscriptions and a serverless subscriber uh, like Cloud Run, I don't have to worry about multiple subscribers. And two, it makes things easier if I publish ordered and unordered messages to different topics. You got it. All right, uh, very good. So now the third question. Yesterday in my ride hailing app, I noticed that I got an exception when trying to publish a message. After that, no more messages for that rider ID, that ordering key, were published. 
so how should my code deal with publishing exceptions? And, and this happened when I was moving topics around and changing permissions. I'm glad you asked about it because there is something special here. Most publishing failures are retried automatically, but in a case of non-retriable errors, for example, if the topic has been deleted and you're using an ordering, you shall call resume publish to restart publish messages of the affected ordering keys. You can add this code to resume the publisher in a try catch block. Hmm, excellent. Tianzi, now for the fourth and final question. My system has one Cloud Run service running in Europe and another running in the US, and both publish ordered PubSub messages to the same topic. Uh, will ordering still work? Yes. Um, if you specify the same regional endpoint when you create the publishers, you can look up the list of available regions here and pick one from the list. Oh, so if I use this code with this regional endpoint, all messages would be published in Europe, even if this code actually runs in the US. That's right. Great. Thank you, Tansy. I think my ride hailing app will work much better after I implemented these tips you've shown me. Now that's wonderful to hear. Um, getting ordering and write is useful, and I'm glad to help. If you have any questions for TNC or me, please leave them in the comments below. Also, let us know if there are other serverless topics you'd like to see in our videos. Until next time!